So this is my birthday, September 5th, 2012. I'm 50 years old today. Um, so I don't feel like I'm doing anything special because my whole life is so incredible that just doing like the normal everyday things that I do um, is as fun to me as anything. I mean, like today I'm just like working around my farm and I got help and um, and friends are coming by and I, you know, and people are wishing me birthday. Well, that, that's something different, but and then, you know, like we're going to barbecue and that's like my favorite thing to do and then tomorrow we're going to go to Yosemite and spend, see the valley and then Thursday we're going to go pick up Irene from work and get to take her car <laughs> to go get her and uh, um, so yeah it should be fun we mark on, on my birthday on my 50th birthday is um, mm -hmm. I have accomplished something that my father was not able to, to do and most of the men in my family have not been able to do which is to live into your 50s to make it out of your 40s. I made it out of my 40s last night and I'm grateful because I didn't always know that that was going to happen. I thought that I could die in the for my 40s like my dad did and um, and a lot of my his brothers and I managed to um, beat this monster that wanted to kill me and um, which is you know my um, which is the monster that lives in me. That's why I was twice as big as most big men, almost, almost 400 pounds, uh, because there was a monster in me that wanted me to, wanted to kill me, and I fought it off, and I won, and I'm here today, 50 years old. When I saw that is thing, and I know that that guy was a beautiful soul, who you know was around rainbows, and and he died at a young age, and I saw that video, and I was like. I didn't die. I'm here. The Rainbow Man is is alive at age 50. Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> God. Not that many people have song on that. Really? Yeah. It's kind of a it's kind of a scary thing to do. I know. I told them I was going to pet them and they're all happy. Nemo loves me. He loves me more than life itself. Huh, Nemo? <laughs> I've had three really amazing, mind-blowing dogs in my life. And Nemo's the third one. Huh. I wouldn't say you're the best, though. But you definitely made me more money than any other dog. Yep. But I started with Nemo's dad, Rusty, and Nemo's mom, Sheila. I bought them on the same day in Fresno from different places. And um, Irene has, still has Sheila. She comes over once in a while. And then I got Growly like uh, almost uh, maybe eight months after I got Nemo. Hi, huh, Growly. And Growly's in the Double Rainbow video, huh, Growly? People imitate you, huh, girl? Hi, huh, girl. Come on, come on. See, I give a little bit of affection to Growly, and Nemo was like, "No, I want, I want just as much as affection as her, or more." Huh? <laughs> he thinks that I can't, that, that, that I can't love them both. Huh. Where's Ginger? What are you doing over here? Come here, girl. I have come up with a mission for my. Um, my volunteer here. I would like her to um, sample and and co comment on on the One different each. kinds of yeah, on the different kinds of tomatoes I have. Okay. Well, this is the most unusual looking tomato. I've seen. Okay. Quite sweet. Yeah. Not very tart. Mm-hmm. Nice. Okay. So. That one's just a real traditional cherry tomato, mm -hmm. right? Wow, that's a lot sweeter than this one, actually. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> now try those orange ones. Mm. 
I like the orange ones. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's pretty easy. Mm. <laughs> right? Yes. Yeah, the I orange like ones it. are the best, right? Mm. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, those orange ones are just the bomb. But unfortunately, they don't make that many. Mm -mm. You know what I mean? But I would like to grow more. I'd like to have more of these kind. Now, I can't tell if that's an orange one or if that's um one of these that's not right. I'll know as soon as I bite into it. It's not an orange one. Mm. 